Hey Jagger Peeps, hope you liked the Guatemala episode. There are a few things that I forgot to mention in the Guatemala episode. For example, like the movie Predator was based off of Guatemalan folklore. I didn't really expound on how the Mayans were really heavily persecuted. Some people even say it was like a Mayan genocide. But we'll cover that in a later future Geography More episode. In the meantime, we got a flag to dissect. So without further ado... All right, so as you guys know, today is Flag Slash Fan Friday, and I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm actually decorating my wall with some of the fan mail that you guys have sent. Some more stuff you guys send, this wall is gonna look different every week. And we got quite a few things this week, but before we open them up, flag time. The flag of Guatemala is a vertical bicolor with three bars, two blue on the sides and white in the middle. The two blue stripes represent the fact that Guatemala is located between two oceans, whereas the white symbolizes peace and purity. Keep in mind, these colors were also adopted from the former Federal Republic of Central America's flag that almost all Central American countries were a part of for a short period of time. Now in this episode, we're gonna kill two birds with one stone because like some other flags that we studied, the flag of Guatemala actually contains the coat of arms on it. So we're not gonna have a coat of arms section in this episode. Minimal effort. Well, I guess by definition's sake, it's technically not a coat of arms because it doesn't have a shield on it. It's more of like an emblem, but eh, make of it what you will. Anyway, the image in the center contains a wreath of laurel branches, the symbol for victory, a parchment scroll reading, Libertad 15 de Septiembre 1821 in gold, referencing to the independence from Spain. By the way, Spanish speakers, how do you say your years? I never really got to learn this. Like, do you say 1821, like 1821, or do you say 1821? I don't know, I never learned that that in class, uh, teach me. Also keep in mind after independence in 1821, there would be a few more liberties that would ensue after that. Anyway, moving on. A Quetzal bird, the national animal, sits on top of the parchment. Two crossed Remington rifles with bayonets lie behind the parchment, representing Guatemala's willingness to defend itself, and two crossed swords representing honor. Keep in mind, Guatemala also has a simplified variant of this flag, and also during those strange transition years, they used a flag that incorporated both red and yellow. And in 2008, the Guatemalan government actually created the Bandera de los Pueblos, or the flag of the indigenous people, which usually usually flies alongside the Guatemalan flag. Fun side note, thank you to Geography Eddie for teaching me this. The Palacio Nacional de la Cultura in Guatemala City has a flag made up of actual rifles, swords, and even a taxidermized Quetzal bird. If you are ever in that area, check it out. And with that being said, Geography Fan Mail time. First up, this letter is from Jordan Y from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Open on camera. Hey Barbie, I'm a 12 year old girl from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I have brought you a newspaper from the territories of Canada. Please come to Edmonton and visit. Look at this. It's a newspaper from the Northwest Territories. Well, I think this is like an old newspaper. It has like Halloween stuff. Uh, Bechoco man charged with sex assaults. Man, Northwest Territories, what is going on up there? That's pretty cool though. It's like an Arctic newspaper. Thank you, Jordan. We love Canada. This next one is from Norfolk, Virginia. Oh, I know this guy. If you remember me not, we met at your yard sale last year. I remember you, Jake, I remember. You gave me your purple lamp. I have it still. I, this is one thing that I gave him, the purple lamp. Oh, and he sent a picture of himself in Morocco. Thank you, Jake, it's really great hearing from you again. Okay, now this is pretty cool. I got two postcards from the same guy from Kosovo. I've never gotten anything from Kosovo, that's pretty cool. I'm a Peace Corps volunteer in the Serbian community in Kosovo teaching English. The monastery on the outside is one of my favorite buildings in the world, it is truly one of a kind. From Ryan. That is going on the wall. All right, this one is from Connor from Franklin Grove, Illinois. Something kind of heavy in here. What is this? Oh, shoot, I think it broke. Uh, oh, what is this? Hey, Barbie, I'm one of your biggest fans. I've been subscribed since Albania. I've also sent you a drawing since art is my other passion. Dude! <laughs> Look at that. Oh, dude, look at that. He drew me. He drew me. I did decide to include half of an ammonite I purchased as well as a life-size cast of a uh, Utah raptor claw. Oh, so it's a cast of a raptor claw. Okay. Uh, well, Connor, I'm sorry. It broke in the mail. Uh, for future reference, you might want to consider bubble wrap. Hold on. I have some super glue. Okay, let's see. Super glue. I'm going to put a lot of it on so it stays on super well. Super glue. Don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. All right, it's stuck on. The super glue worked. Well, Connor, I'm glad that this is just a cast and not a real fossil because I am like the last person you'd want to trust with like a real prehistoric artifact. I would break it in like three seconds. Thank you for sending this claw. This letter comes from Ethan from Pennsylvania. Hello, Barbie, I'm 13 from Pennsylvania. Because of your channel, I entered my school's geography bee hosted by National Geographic. Nice. I was so close to getting to state, but my friend who also happens to be subscribed beat me. Ethan, no shame in that actually fun story. In sixth grade, I entered my school 
school's geography B and I failed on the very first question. It was, what was the longest river in China? And I, back then I didn't really know geography very well. So I was like, uh, I don't know, the China river. First question, totally failed. All right, we have another package from Canada. Man, more Canadians, I love you guys. Everybody loves Canada, even Iran, even after all that crazy stuff that happened in the movie Argo. Which, by the way, Ben Affleck trying to play a Latino guy. Like, anyway, I digress. What do we got here? What do we got here? What is this? With this letter, I have attached a flag. You guys gotta stop sending me such big flags because I can't fit them all on my wall. That's the Guatemalan flag that Frank sent me the other week. Well, I guess the only thing to do now is to add to the wall. So that's about it. Um, guys, thank you so much for all this cool stuff that you sent. I love showing it to the rest of the Geography peeps. In any case, this was fun. Uh, we're gonna take a little break because now we have to research the next four countries. You need something, Mom? Oh, uh, um, okay, uh, later. All right, yeah, oh, I'm filming. Okay. <laughs> In the meantime, this has been Flag Friday. You've just been flagged. Stay cool, stay tuned. I missed saying that for the last few episodes, but I'm gonna get back into that. You've just been flagged. All right, have a good one.